Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Wipe Card Online and I'm all about the details. For years now, Honda has dominated the B-segment SUV market with the HRV. It has a great formula, tall right height, decently equipped, spacious and practical interior. And it's the type of one car does it all type of car. So you know, you are a city commute, balik kampung, no problems in the HRV. Many people would also pick the HRV over the CRV for a few reasons. One, it's not as big. Two, it's spacious and practical enough. And three, it's way more affordable compared to the CRV. Over at arch rival camp, Toyota had the CHR to go up against the HRV. However, it wasn't that successful because it's not as practical, not as spacious. Well, I should say nowhere near as spacious and practical. And it's way more expensive compared to the HRV due to its fully imported origins. However, that is set to change with the imminent arrival of the Toyota Corolla Cross. Here's everything that you need to know about Toyota's upcoming SUV. Download the official Webcar app on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store now. The Toyota Corolla Cross is a Honda HRV, Mazda CX-3 and Subaru XV rivaling SUV. Some of you may be wondering, wait, don't Toyota has the Yaris Cross, isn't that a more appropriate rival? Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that. You see, the Yaris Cross, it's only available in more sophisticated markets like Japan and Europe. And the footprint of the Yaris Cross is a fair bit smaller compared to the HRV. So in the ASEAN region context, Toyota has the Corolla Cross to go up against the HRV. The Corolla Cross rides on the TNGAC platform just like the Corolla Altis and CHR but with a twist. The rear suspension on the Corolla Cross uses torsion beam instead of the more complex double wishbone setup. Now the reason being torsion beam is more cost effective and it allows for better packaging. To consumers, it means you get a cheaper car and you get bigger boot space. Both of which are essential if Toyota wants to dethrone the Honda HRV. Dimensions wise, the Corolla Cross is larger compared to the X50 and HRV, but not to the point where it's as bulky as the Toyota RAV4. In Thailand, the Corolla Cross is offered in two powertrain options a 1.8 litre naturally aspirated four cylinder petrol as well as a 1.8 litre hybrid. The former is the same 1.8 litre found in the Corolla Altis, which pushes 139 horsepower and 172 Nm of torque, paired to a CVT automatic. Now, this is the likelier option to arrive in Malaysia because the HRV also uses a 1.8 litre. Now, UNW Toyota has hinted that there is a small possibility that the 1.8 litre hybrid is offered to the Malaysian market, but this is subjected to local assembly incentives. Let's dive straight into the boot space. The Corolla Cross has a boot space of 487 litres. That's 50 litres more compared to the HRV. Uh, does that mean that it's more practical? Mm, not quite, because don't forget that the HRV has the amazing ultra seats which makes it super practical if you want to move long or tall items. Elsewhere, the cabin design of the Corolla Cross is exactly what you see in the uh, Corolla Altis, which means mm, it's not all that great. Yes, it's very minimalistic, very nice to look at. However, it's not the most practical cabin. The HRV will have more uh, usable storage spaces, bigger cup holders. There's just more places for you to put in and store your items. Headroom is an area where the Corolla Cross excels compared to the CHR. Remember the CHR had a very low slung roof which eats into headroom for the rear passengers? In the Corolla Cross, you don't have that kind of problem. Taller people will definitely have a much more comfortable seating position in the Corolla Cross without having their heads rubbing the roof lining. We predict that the Corolla Cross is scheduled for the uh, Malaysian local debut sometime around in Q2 2021. However, with the COVID-19 situation or the SOPs, MCOs, that timeline is very likely to be pushed uh, further backwards. Now, um, we believe that UNW Toyota is targeting to launch the Corolla Cross as a locally assembled uh, car just to get that pricing advantage compared to its rivals. Now, how much would the Corolla Cross be priced? If we look at Toyota's lineup of cars, the CHR, when it was here, it was priced around 140,000 ringgit. 
being fully imported from Thailand. The Corolla Altis is also fully imported from Thailand and is priced between 123,000 to 134,000, also fully imported. Now, uh, being a local assembly car, most likely the price will be slightly lower compared to the uh, CBU units. So we're targeting that the Corolla Cross is expected to be priced between 120 to 130,000 ringgit. So how does the Corolla Cross compare to the HRV? Well, for starters, it's bound to be a more comfortable and enjoyable car to drive because of its more sophisticated platform. Yes, I know it doesn't get the fancy double wishbone suspension, but anybody who has driven a TNJ car understands that the right and handling characteristics of a TNJ car is just a class above. Specification-wise, hopefully UMW Toyota manages to include the Toyota Safety Sense full suite of ADAS in the Corolla Cross. Immediately, it will blow the HRV out of the waters because the TSS offers adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking. And if they have the full suite of TSS, habis lah, HRV. Now, other features that are available in the Thailand and Indonesia market that we hope that uh, the local Malaysian unit will get include a 7-inch uh, LCD instrument cluster, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto connectivity, rear air vents as well as rear USB charging ports. We are very excited for the Toyota Corolla Cross to be, arrive in the Malaysian market because uh, we noticed that recently UNW Toyota's firepower is very much focused on their GR and motorsport activities, which results in their other bread and butter models doesn't seem to draw the same uh, sense of excitement and attention that the brand deserves. The Toyota Corolla Cross is bound to be a turning point for the company because a compact SUV that is reasonably priced with a T-Batch is a recipe for success. Come on guys. Toyota SUV, just take my money. Let me know in the comment section below whether would you pick the Corolla Cross over its other rivals like the X50 and HRV. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Download the official Wap Car app on Google Play Store now for all your latest news, reviews, and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car. See you there.